Hello everyone, and welcome to Glitch Space. Uh, so this is kind of a, it's it's a puzzle game. Uh, apparently there's a story. I did the first couple of puzzles just to kind of get a feel for it, see how it works. But uh, I didn't really see exactly, like I didn't see any details of the story. So um, I guess let's go ahead and explore, see what's going on here. Start a new game. I, th I think I originally heard about this game from nerd cubed i i feel like smooth wasd i know it's uh wasd and space to jump it's pretty pretty typical uh whoop there we go um i thought it was nerd cubed but i can't seem to find any evidence that that's the case so i could be mistaken about that but um yeah i do kind of understand the basic concept of this game and like i said i did test it out a little bit just to kind of get a feel for it but uh we'll explore it more thoroughly as we head on through the world. That that thing in the sky looks like it's probably our ultimate objective. Wibbly. Ooh. Alright, cube acquired. This is the null canvas. You can add and connect nodes to the canvas to create programs that affect the red cuboids in the world. Nodes are selected from a pop-out. Okay. Uh, Alright, nodes can be connected in two ways. Clicking and dragging, or just by clicking and dragging the nodes together. Uh, nodes can only be connected if their uh, outputs and inputs match. Different types have different shapes. Numbers, for example, output a triangle. Right, so this one has a little Tetris piece, so you can't match it to the triangle input. Makes sense. Connect the nodes. So I just plonked down the uh, the number node with the 10. So now I can connect it there. And that uh, told the block to move down 10 units. So that's kind of the gist of this game. Is you just sort of have to rewrite the world. It's kind of interesting. Any red object can be manipulated. What's that? Oh, that's that's the portal. Uh, move object up. Uh, two, I suppose. Can I? Let me try clicking and dragging. Oh, clicking and dragging doesn't seem to want to work. Okay. There we go, and that works. All right, move object forward. Um, Ten, I guess. Nope, twenty. There we go. I guess I should have just started with twenty, because uh, it's just gonna hit the uh, hit the edge anyway. These are namespaces. I didn't see that. Uh, they alter the available functions in your toolbox. Okay, got it. A lot of wibbly sounds. It, it as like it's hardly surprising, but this this game reminds me quite a lot of Tron. Uh, Quartz connecting nodes can be cut to break the program. Hover over the core with, uh, until a pair of scissors, then left click. Uh, gotcha. Object is solids, and it's now boolean, so I could just sever that so it's no longer true. Uh, they can be deleted entirely by right-clicking. Yes, I had seen that. Delete that. Uh, logic has been added to your toolbox. Great! So it's still there, but uh, it shouldn't be solid anymore? No? Oh, but now I can uh, false it. Yeah, there we go. And now I can... Object is solid. Let's cut that. Can I can I change it instead of just having to delete it and remake it? I don't know. Uh, so now it's solid. Now move object forward. No, actually we let's get on it first, and now we move object forward. There we go. Beware of data flow. Okay. 
That will probably kill me. Object is solid. It's just, uh, whoop. There we go, and that blocks the flow. So what did I what did I get? Some nodes look a little different. They are called abstractions and contain multiple nodes which create full functions. As you progress these abstractions break apart giving you more freedom. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh so vectors have now been added to your toolbox. Be sure to use the widget in the bottom right to figure out which vector to use. Uh right. Okay. So that little widget tells me the like the directions for x y and z so that when i do the vectors uh i can say move along y uh and then now this has an input so i can make a number uh let's call it 20 yeah there we go Uh, okay, I want to say that's 10. No, that's too far. Why? It's a, the, drop, drop the thing. There we go. Okay, so along X, uh, can I, oh, there we go. Okay, what? Uh, it's all right. Whoopsies! Alright, let's try that again. So now I can just cut it instead of deleting the node and then put it back on. Uh, move it along the Z axis. Uh, so that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Now I need to can I can I move it up as well? I imagine probably not, right? Well, I, I guess I don't see why I shouldn't be able to. In fact, let's uh let's just take this one. Perfect. Alright, cool. Yeah. I, I like this. This is kinda interesting. Oops, was I supposed to use that block? Oh no, that was that was the block that was acting as a door earlier. Some cuboids have pre-programmed functions that cannot be edited. Okay. Whoop. Uh, it applies fifty force upwards. So I gotta like catch myself on that platform. I assume. Let's just cut that. There we go, and now... Yeah. I imagine this will probably get more complex as we go along. But I feel pretty good about this. Apply force forwards. 50 force. Okay, so move object. We want to move it in the X direction. Um, 20, I assume? That looks right. Oh, woof! <laughs> I very nearly missed that, but it's okay. I didn't completely mess it up; just almost. Um. Okay. So, data flow bad. Let's uh, move that up to block it. I think that'll be fine. Cuboid went out of bounds. When this occurs, the canvas is reset and the cuboid is returned to its original position. Okay, so I cannot move it too far. That is good to know. I'm sure I will eventually get a feel for... Whoop! I was expecting that. I should have checked that cuboid. Um, but yeah, I'm sure... Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure I'll get a feel for the distances and the numbers and all that stuff as we go along. 
This is a, a tool upgrade. I think this is the farthest I got. Uh, hold shift and left click to place a cuboid. Ah. Okay. Can I, like, unplace it? Yes. I, okay, so I only have one cuboid. But I can place it myself. Interesting. Use the middle mouse wheel to change where you spawn the cuboid. Ah, okay, so that's distance away from me. Got it. Alright, now I should be able to... No, because I don't have move objects. Um, can I, like... Oop. I think that'll do it, though. Yeah. If I can... If I can do it. <laughs> Doing it is indeed a, uh, a prerequisite for being able to do it, yes. <laughs> okay. Was that not correct? I guess it wasn't. Okay. Well, that's fine. How about that? Nope. No, nuts. Nuts! Ugh. Okay, give me a sec. Alright, so I made it up here. I, I cannot seem to place stuff while I'm jumping. Okay, because I thought maybe there might be puzzles where I have to, like, place one and then jump off of it and place another one in the air before, before you know, I fall off the edge or something. But nope, that does not appear to be the case. Is there any secrets up here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well then let's uh, let's head on out. Yeah, all right. Um, is it just like a mirror? Yeah, it kind of looks that way. All right. So now what? Oh, it's a counter. Gotcha. Uh, so I should be able to cut it. No. Oh, no, this is one of those ones that cannot be altered. Gotcha. Yeah, there we go. I think I was supposed to tell that by the fact that it's darker, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, it's a fountain. Glitchy fountain. Your, uh, your personal cuboid is red and can also be manipulated. Perhaps fittingly, this, uh, this music is, uh, it reminds me of Echoes of the Eye a little bit. Oh, oh, now I can make abstractions. Could I do that before? Oh, you know what? I bet that was the namespace I picked up a little bit ago. Um, so now I can, uh, put this here and then abstraction, move object, right? And now, oops, uh, yeah. There we go. Neat. Whoop. That could have been bad. Um, so that is... Uh, okay, so that's a rotate, not a move. So if I, if I cut it... Yeah, there we go. Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> Think before you leave, please. All right. Um, this is kind of neat. Um, it's a little simplistic, I'm finding, but I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that, especially since I'm recording this not long after I uh, I decided to put the uh, Creeper World series on at least a temporary hold. Um, 
So my brain is still a little fried <laughs> from the uh, the tormented space levels in that game. But um, no, it still seemed to be uh, to move be moving along at a decent clip. I don't know how much of this game there is that. That thing over there already seems to be significantly closer than when we started. Whoops, sometimes certain functions will become unavailable. Uh-oh. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I guess we just lost a functionality. Uh, so there's a data flow. Very loud data flow. Uh, oh, but it's already... It's already solid and therefore blocking it. Great. Do I do I care about this or is it just supposed to like look neat? I it looks like it's just supposed to look cool. I imagine nope, no I can't can't cross that. Alright, can I Can I rotate? Yeah. Okay. Um so vectors I guess I want to rotate along the x axis and then 90 yeah there we go is that enough it is great uh this has nothing guess I'll just uh I'll just change that